Here we go. This is the Fabato Fearless that I got a while back. I've had it close to a month now and getting time here to do a little bit of a review on it. And of course over there is the box that it came in. It came with a helmet and of course I got good pedals and all that kind of good stuff. But this is a really well made bike. I uh was quite surprised with it. Really enjoying it. I've ridden up and down the hill a few times, ridden around. I don't have one of those fine cameras to strap on my chest to go on rides with me and stuff. This is just kind of a cool thing here. Uh, you can check it out here. I'll zoom in so you can see. Look at that. It came with a cool chain protector there on on the bike so you can see it and we have look at this derailleur it's a Shimano tourney I was gonna upgrade to an Altus but hey this one works so good why worry about it and there it is has a derailleur protector for those times when a guy might just kind of kick up and trip over and fall on it and these are the pedals that it came with. They did send some other pedals to go on there, which are lighter weight. But here they are. Pretty cool looking pedals, really light, very thin. Got some big teeth on them to grab into your shoes for pedaling. But hey, this did this really need it? No, these are the ones that it come with. I may put the other ones on sometime or other. And look at this. These guys have put thread lock on their controller deals. And everything was put together really well here. So I didn't have to go through. I went and checked everything. But I didn't have to worry about putting thread lock on stuff. Because these guys had taken care of it. And the saddle, it's okay. It's, it's good. There's the cotton deal. There's really not a lot of adjustment for we can go back and forth, but no tilt on it. And there's our deal. I'm 6'6. Six, six. And this is a fine thing. It fits me. As you can see, I've got the adjustable stem on it. And I got it turned clear up there to the top for me. And this here fine, goofy looking uh, shifter. Works really well. Up, down. And look at this, a twist throttle. And what's this goofy looking red button here? That's so you can turn the twist throttle off and on. So, and look at this, faux leather grips. And check out the all these levers. These are Tektro mechanical brakes, but man, I kind of like the mechanical stuff myself. You have lockout controls on your, and it's got clicks, so I'm guessing it, it's kind of sort of just adjustable. And look over here is the preload side, which, you know, I haven't really messed with because it works. You got nice bosses here for your front rack. And look at this good cable management stuff here. They have stuff saddled up here. And that headlight, surprisingly, is quite bright. I, uh rode at night with it a little bit when I first got it just because I wanted to. Here's a close-up of those fine rotors. 180 millimeter rotor and we have mechanical brakes and they work quite good. I uh, kind of like the mechanical stuff because in cold weather, hydraulic lines and stuff may, well, they've caused me problems on other things. So, and of course, here's the ones on the back. You can see here what the things, silly things look like on the back. But you can see how well made this, well made this puppy is. And we have a, the kickstand down there. Nice, big, beefy kickstand. Uh, really well made. It's a hardtail model, and of course, 
unfortunately, this bike has been discontinued and is sold out. This goofy skewer right here in shipping in the box that I that piece that on there had come loose and so was somewhere and I put it on there without it and of course that didn't work very well so they sent me a brand new skewer with all the parts even though all I wanted was the one part but you can see here tire is a bit dirty because I've been riding it on the rocks and stuff we're not supposed to do that but uh we did it anyway. It does really good on the gravel roads and whatnot. These fat tires are really very stable. I was I am surprised. Uh, it did come with also. I'll walk over here. Show you this is the fine helmet that it came with, and there's the bike lock, and there is it came with a fitted bike cover, which hey, it would even keep the rain off. Out, out, if you put it outside myself, I keep it inside the shop But that keeps the dust off of it <laughs> and there's the box that this fine thing came in And it was pretty much not 90 some odd percent assembled all that was basically off was the front wheel And you know that was that not that big deal to put on front wheel and handlebars So you know and they were just kind of hanging there the display is over here on the side and you know I kind of like that I've gotten used to it and I also learned how to do the adjustment on the pass so I got the PAS1 down to 25% which doesn't launch you like a rocket when you take off I like that and I pedal pedals me along really fine I knocked down the PAS2 to 45% First, the uh, PAS1 came at 44%, and I knocked it down to 25%. And now, yes, top speed is slower. It's only like 8 uh, miles an hour, but just fine with me. That's good for trails and things like that. Now, I didn't want to take off like, like an idiot. And there's the rack I got on the back, and you can see there's the tail light. I, they had it... it these guys put tail lights on upside down. You know, I turned it up so a guy could see it there. And you know, it's oh, it's nicer. They're all power the thing on because I've got the battery in here. You just got to hold this power button down for a little bit. It comes right on, powers right up there, and you can go see and go through up and down your pass. And it always starts out in one, and the throttle. Even when you have it on past zero, the throttle will work. So, hey, you can hit this button here, throttle don't work. Hit it again, it's on. <laughs> so, and of course, to turn the silly thing off, all you gotta do is press the button and it goes off. Press it, and I think you hold it a little bit here and it goes off. Yep. And you can see here's the good rack and stuff that, you know, I think the newer bikes come with this, the, the Flurry model, but they do no longer make the Fearless, which is a disappointment because I kind of like this style. I like this kind of battery. It's semi integrated, but you know, it's not. Uh, fully integrated like the one in the front and this one's back here and I can press I'm putting my finger down here so I can press that and show you the battery's charged up it's got that one there and also has one on the display there it's just bars and of course here's the fine <laughs> bell <laughs> it reminded me a lot of the Hemiway Cruiser uh, of course a lot of bikes are Kind of like copies of the others, but this is a good bike here. I really rather enjoy this bike. Well, I hope y'all have fun too visiting, and uh, this isn't too bad for my first bike, first e bike. I'm kind of thinking maybe I'd later on getting a, a mid drive. Oh, one thing I did want to show off was 
this fine chain and this chain ring has not only outside but also inside and these are aluminum aluminum chain guards so this is the fenders are plastic but you have attachments points which are metal and you can see here on the back here you got metal going around that's fine that's good and it attaches down here with metal the front guys front fenders are also plastic with metal reinforcements there but they go on up to a plastic wrap around for the fork so you know that that's fine and the forks I'm guessing are not the best in the world but you know hey for a bike that was under a thousand bucks with a rack hey we're doing mighty fine and there we go tectro brakes <clears throat> tectro that, that surprised me and of course you can see I probably need a stem extender <laughs> I'm 6'6 six, six and uh, it works for me it rolls me right along up the hills and stuff and of course there we go I'll show you another the brakes don't have the calipers don't seem to have a name on them but they work quite well myself I kind of like the only thing I didn't care for uh, about hydraulic brakes is I would prefer the wire over and then just basically this cable here I'd rather have a cable than I would a hydraulic line but that's just me in cold weather and stuff this if it breaks I can have a spare no problem at all and tubes or something I got coming and um, we're gonna be all set and good to go this is just a fun interim beginner's bike I appreciate it guys Favato. these guys have been good to me thank you